I'd like to welcome you all to Hacking the Housing Crisis, an evening dedicated to innovation in the housing sector. We're here today for a great event that Acrid Lowry is putting on with the Land Aid, and we're bringing together five really interesting, diverse people from across the industry to offer their hacks, their solutions to this really big problem, the housing crisis. We'd actually asked all of our panellists to come up with you know, one interesting single idea, and they all did. And, and you know, I think they all had merit. So, that's our panel. Now, they've got five minutes each. Our hack really is very simply providing access to the people who we genuinely think can make a huge difference to the housing market. That could be SME developers, that could be um, architect-led developers, that could be communities developing themselves. Quite simply, we're, we're taking a very large plot of land and developing a lot of homes very quickly, and we're doing so because we are doing it built to rent. We want to live in something that is genuinely community, and the only way you can do that is by building yourself. So my hack is about a free digitised map that everyone can use with information that allows everyone to get a site. I think it's a good thing to discuss to keep the community always generating new ideas and exchanging those new ideas with each other because within every organisation we tend to get too used to our own solutions. So what's the hack? In an ideal world, all we would develop is fantastic homes for older people. For me the answer is we put us in charge of building new homes. Citizens, communities in charge. This is part of the crisis we're in at the moment. Obviously, speed's an issue, quality's an issue, resource is an issue, and design's an issue. As, a, as an off-site provider, we've got our own facilities that will build, design, and deliver the project. We've found that we've run about 30 to 40% quicker than traditional build. Essentially, we need to be providing 300,000 homes a year to meet the demand. At the moment we're about 180,000. That deficit needs to be made up by innovation and that's what this night's been about. So there's been people talking about new ways of financing projects, new ways of finding sites and new ways of delivering. And at Acroyd Lowry we're really kind of all about bringing those people together to try and come up with some solutions that are really going to make a difference for the people in London. If anyone's interested in finding out more please go to our website acroydlowry.com and download the white paper that we've just released on the subject.